So guys, <laughs> the dogs are playing, and what am I doing? I'm cooking some good food on the barbecue, and then we're gonna go and start unloading the truck. Oh, so fun stuff right here. So let's just get to it and let's roll the intro and get on with it. All right, so I've unloaded um, all the two by twos and the two by fours. I'm actually taking all the plywood out of the back of the truck this time instead of keeping it in the back, uh, simply because I got scrap metal that I gotta start picking up from the shop that's getting backed up and scrap metal here. And there's even an engine up the street here that I really hope I can grab because that's like 400, 500 pounds, something like that. It's a big boat engine, V8. Anyway, um, in the mail the other day, guys, I got this and I can show this even though it's copywritten because I want you guys to comment it comment on it and tell me what you think. I don't think that Lowe's would really mind having some free advertisement. So this is the uh, Creative Ideas Home and Garden from Lowe's. This is the fall Halloween edition and they've got some kind of cool projects in here like this wreath and they actually took some black pumpkins and just stacked them up in their uh, little uh, thingies there. Thingies, yes. Thank you, baby. <laughs> it's real I'm being watched, you vlog bomber. <laughs> and they've also got Beyond Ghosts and Goblins, things such uh, interior design tips that you can do, paint schemes and whatnot. So just, just some really kind of cool stuff. Um, you guys can go to uh, Lowe'sCreativeIdeas.com to get more ideas and get one for your own. Why not? Right? You should vlog JD. <laughs> JD cleaned her room. Amazing. Ooh, spider. I know it's dark and it's spooky, but the plywood has been moved from the back of the truck. And I also went through and took care of all the scrap metal that I had around here. So all that's loaded in the back of the truck. I'm going to call it a night out here, guys, just because, frankly, I'm bushed. Um, so yeah, uh, at least I got the truck unloaded. We'll start cutting, uh, again tomorrow and probably one or two panels tomorrow again to get all the, you know, the cut started and make sure all the wood is correctly spaced before I make the mistake and cut a bunch of wood with the wrong measurements because that would suck, especially if I couldn't compensate or fix it. Are you ready for an episode of Speedcock? Oh my gosh, we haven't seen her for like ages. Anyway, just the making. Nice pile, Troy. How many panels do you think that you'll need for the front? I don't know for sure. I'm thinking like 40, maybe 50, somewhere in that neighborhood. And will it just be under the awning thing? Yes. Also, sorry about all the questions. When will Keith be done with the drawing of the haunt? I don't know. We want to see it. I know. So would I. And just the making. And wait, is the backyard haunt different than the front yard haunt? Yes, absolutely. Or will it all be connected? It will be connected, not with panels or anything. It's going to be an outside walkthrough. Uh, so yeah, it, it's going to be different, but the same. No, it's going to be different, just connected by a walkthrough. Yeah, it's going to be the same, but different. <laughs> wow! Haunt guy, nice to see you guys spending some big bucks. You are now officially a real haunter. Um, okay, I... I I thought I was a hunter last year. <laughs> one zero one zero one one B spooky Home Depot card of the day. I should have done that. You know how I do the spooky card of the day? Oh yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, it took me a second too. I'm like, what? And then the day part got me. It's like, oh okay. Child's play two three three. Hey Troy, how long do you think that you're gonna? Did you guys understand that? I didn't. Hey Troy, how long do you think you're going to have the haunt open this year? Every day in October. No? Damn. I wish. Wimp. Two days. Three. Two. I want three. Two. I don't want to get shut down. <laughs> Columbia Manor. Boy. Wow, I'm surprised they let you video in Home Depot. Liability issues in case like... Let? Who shit. asks? <laughs> yeah, in case like shit happened. 
Haha, ha, you need to make something in the back, kind of like your garage covering to store all the panels in Amigo, but design it so it can be used in the haunt as like a room next year. Uh, we are planning a shed in the backyard. Probably not this year. Not this year, probably not. Well, no, I mean, because now you get all that wood back there and you got to move the car. and There's no time. Well, I can move the car in the wood in like three hours. Well, it would be nice to get a shed built so that we don't have to spend so much on storage. Yeah. John John nine one 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 one. You know, if you Google image yourself, you'll find pictures of yourself and other pictures from your YouTube channel. How crazy is that? Did you try it? No, I've not tried it. I've I didn't I don't know how you Google image yourself. You, I've Googled you, myself, but I've not go. I don't know what Google image. You is. upload an image to Google. You give them like an image. Anyway, that sounds kind of stalkerish. No, I've, I've done it to myself before. Really? J and C's dad, what size cylinder are you going to use for the prop car? A big one. <laughs> I don't know yet. I've been looking at them, but I can't remember the exact size right now. I picked up a flash cracker from Fright Props last March at Trans World. They are awesome, both Fright Props and flash crackers. Yes, I love them. They are so awesome. I have no idea what you're talking about. You will see it in I, a few days. I took a look at the vlog and all I heard... The past couple of days, we you were buying stuff, buying, 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 buying. I'm like, what is he buying? There's been two days that I've bought and that Button. I've purchased three items. Okay. A solenoid, a flash cracker, and a webcaster. Fall Apart 71, just wondering if you ever went to Habitat Restore. No, I haven't yet. Also, you might be interested in sand casting. If you don't know about it, YouTube it. I'm going to have to do that. I just tried it, and it worked great. If I lose it all. Did you go to the Home Depot in Spanaway off Pacific? No, I didn't. Because if so, I worked there for a little last year, and I can tell you this. I've never met anyone as rude and disrespectful as the people that worked at that store. Um, I, I kind of want to reiterate yesterday, the employees were extremely cool every time I've been there. It's just, it was just that one. The, the manager yesterday that helped us was just not too no, pleasant. She, she wasn't a manager. Well, whoever she, she was. She was just a customer service person. But yeah. she wasn't Ooh. very customer servicey. <laughs> <laughs> no, everybody else was nice, and everybody else helped, and everything. Um, and well, she was just like talking to the other guy. I only stayed because you were here, and we're standing there, and she's helping us. So you know, it was just kind of rude. And I stand by my shout out from the other day, to where dude was totally awesome and everything. Emerald Gypsy Heart at Master Phoenix, stop beating your poor mother from the inside out. Nice pile of wood. Squirrel, what was I saying? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's like, every time I'm doing something, it's like, that's when he decides to flip around and walk from one side to the other. And then what do you do? You say, Troy, Troy, come here! And I go over there, and I do this. And Troy I'm like, get, oh! Troy gets over here, he puts his hand, and then that's when the that's when he just lays down and goes to sleep. Yep. Daddy calms him down. He was out there taking the wood off the back of the truck tonight, this guy, the minute he walked in the door, and I was like, come here, come here, come here. So, stopped. <laughs> I'm like, he's going to make a liar out of me, and every time I call Troy to come feel it, he's not going to do anything. <laughs> the baby's moving in. Yeah, right, yeah. whatever. <laughs> I know. Mr. Bulldozer videos. Okay, Troy, I am convinced I will start buying all my wood from Lowe's. Watch my video, Mr. Bulldozer's Haunt Blog. Starting column build. I had a 2 by 3 by 8 go nuts only two days after getting from Home Depot. Their quality has gone downhill. Go nuts? How did it go nuts? Did it crack? Did it warp? It warped. It warped like crazy. Um, as you know, because I left a comment, I, I did take a look at that vlog. And, yeah, you know, I, I think it's a hit and miss wherever you go. I don't, I don't think it's actually, you know, Home Depot or Lowe's. It's just, like, where they get their wood from. Yeah. Um, I, I told you guys the other day that I went to Lowe's, the fir or Home Depot, the first trip to Home Depot. They had the nice square two-by-twos, and I loved them. The next day, and I think I even said this yesterday, but the next time that I went, they had the rounded ones, like Lowe's usually carries, and then yesterday they have the nice square ones again. So I'm glad that I got the nice square ones. So that's one good thing that happened. ABC Noise too. I'm glad you were feeling better, Lurley. You really look like you felt horrible. Thank you. Horrible. Horrible. <laughs> uh, yeah, I feel better. 
Home Depot can be a hit or miss in customer service. They can either drive you nuts or are completely absent. But, you know, like I said, it's like that everywhere you go. Even the grocery store. Mm. Troy, you're kicking ass and taking names on those panels. I'm jealous you'll have a webcaster. I think it's a sign of you leaving the realm of home haunts. I don't know what a webcaster Never. is. Never. Never. I'm, I, you know, that's one of the awesome things about what I feel that we're doing here is that, you know, pro haunts are really, really freaking awesome and they're cool. But I think that there's an element there that's missing that's too commercialized, I think. And I, I can't really put my finger on it or ex explain it, but I'm hoping that's, that's what we can bring to a pro haunt is some, you know, some... I don't know, I don't, I don't want to say emotion or feeling, but some home haunt type atmosphere, family, albeit scary, atmosphere, something like that. I don't know. I, I hope you guys get what I'm saying because I'm not sure I do at this point. Adam's Haunted Manor. Was it windy? With a shopping cart. No, I don't think it was, was it? Not at all. There wasn't even a breeze. Yeah. That thing just came out of nowhere. Woot woot pneumatic car. Finally, right? I'm glad that you got the flash cracker. They are really epic. Ugh, why did you buy a web slinger? I can teach you to make one for way cheaper You with your drill, a fan blade, and Elmer's rubber cement glue. Now they're going to have to make a movie about that cart. Just like the movie... Just like the movie Rubber about the haunted wheel. <laughs> Lori Lee just handed this to me for me to read because she didn't understand it. And I'm like, oh, okay. And I just read that and I'm like, okay, maybe I need to go back and read it again. Sorry. Lori Lee, go check out one of my vlogs with the gut trash can all filled up with guts. That's what expanding foam can do. It's epic shizzle nizzle. I want to do it myself, though. I think it would be fun to see. Well, that's what he's saying, is take a look oh. at the vlog to see what great stuff can do. One of the applications for great stuff. Okay. Um, and what is the path of egrets? It's actually egress, E-G-R-E-S-S. -E um, emergency it, it, exit. Yeah, emergency exit, the path that people take to quickly exit your haunt. PKPK, PK, why don't you get OSB? It only costs 10 bucks, and it's the same thing as plywood. Um, it's actually not. It's extremely more susceptible to uh, water and moisture being sucked into it like a sponge. Which we have here a lot Which of. we have. We, we yeah. have a lot. We have a lot. HHN for you. Check your PM. I did. Renthal, flash crackers equals cool. Bought three of them this year. Looking forward to using them in my haunt. As to the webcaster, two tips for you. Before using it in the haunt, try practicing a bit with it. It takes a while to get the hang of it. Also, don't waste money buying the webcaster web sticks, especially for blacklight area. Go down to Lowe's and buy the huge packs of clear sticks. They work great at a fraction of the price. And in blacklight areas, they glue blue. I think you meant glow, but I get what you mean. That's really awesome. I, I was hoping that that was going to work that way to use cheaper glow sticks instead of, or glue sticks instead. See, now you got me saying it. You guys know what I mean. To what now? To what what? He said, the, he, he did to what? Two tips for you. <laughs> he said it so fast. <laughs> I was like, to what? Ram had two tips for me, which... Makes me slightly <laughs> concerned. It sounded like you said something all oh. different. Oh, two tits for me? <laughs> something. This should make the blue My head went in the gutter really quickly. <laughs> I'm sorry. All right, let me finish this last comment so that you can get to bed and rest your mind. Uh, Dustin one and zero zero knew what a record was, but didn't know leaving it in the sun warped it. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Happy awning. <laughs> Are you guys happy awnings? See you guys tomorrow. That's some bad hat, Harry.